Wow. I'm uh, completely out of my element here. But uh, I just grew up as a boy, a uh, five-year-old boy who, uh, who had a dream and um, always had a ball in my hand. Wanted to be like my dad. Grew up watching my dad's tapes. Uh, wanted to be like Jerry Rice. And um, that's the reason I wore 81, because I wanted to be one better than them. I wanted to be one better than my dad. And uh, as crazy as that sounds, that's, that's how I grew up. I mean, I grew up into the game. And uh, I wasn't going to let anything stop me. And as I look at, at my son here, he's five years old right now, sitting right, right in the center right here. And that's when my dream began, that age. <laughs> and uh, to make a long story short, I went to the University of Miami really on accident because my dad and I, we couldn't come to an agreement on which school I should go to. I wanted to go to Washington. He wanted me to go to Michigan State. <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Miami. <laughs> That's how it went down. Like, I'm just gonna go to Miami. And uh, the rest is history. The University of Miami made me. It, it was like, it was just family. And uh, I met this guy, Jeremy Shockey. Jeremy Shockey, man. I molded my game after him. I learned from him. I learned from guys like Ed Reed, you know, Sean Taylor, Coach Saw. Coach Kehoe, and uh, what we were about, man, was just not letting each other down, not letting your brothers down, and we were the greatest team of all time. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, it, it came from this guy, Andrew Swayze. And what, what Andrew Swayze represents is what a sensei is to a martial artist. And I carry that, I carry what he taught us every day. I don't take any days off of working out because of him. And, you know, guys like Willis and guys I grew up with. What I didn't talk about was my injury and adversity I faced. Um, I was in a bad motorcycle accident in 2005, and uh, they told me I was never going to play again. They were talking about amputating my leg. I had a, I had a punctured, punctured lung. Uh, Collapsed lung. Uh, my knee was just, it looked like the size of, it looked like a box. It looked like swollen basketball. And uh, I didn't know how the hell I was going to do it. I knew I wasn't going to be the same. But I remember, I remember, I remember when I was five and where that dream began. And I wasn't going to let that leave me. So I came back in 06, and I led the league in receptions that year on one leg. And the only, the only way I can muster up how I did it was passion, where it started. Not letting my family down, not letting my teammates down, not letting the hurricanes down, all you guys. So. Uh, here I am today still chasing the dream.
That's who I am. That's where it began. So I'm still chasing it. But uh, I don't want to make it too long. <laughs> I just want to thank my family sitting right here in the center. If you guys could stand up. Stand up, Papa. <laughs> I want to thank my wife, Janelle, who we've been together since we were 14 years old. I owe her everything. She's the one, she's the one that has kept me sane, <laughs> Get, gotten me through all this. That woman right there is my other half and my soulmate. And we, we have a beautiful family together. Um, man, I want to I wanna just name some names off that, guys, that mean something to me. Uh, Curtis Johnson, who started all this, really, when he recruited me um, out of San Diego. I, I came in as a wide receiver, <laughs> and then uh, eventually moved to tight end. Dorsey for always making me run my routes perfect. Shockey, for teaching me how to be a badass. <laughs> Andre Reed, for taking me to another level that I didn't even know I had. Sean Taylor, the baddest athlete I've ever seen. Coach Saul, just for talking to us, man. Thanks for taking me on that bike ride, man. <laughs> that meant more to me than you'll ever know. Coach Kehoe, thanks for letting me train with the O-line. Guys like Romberg, getting there and there, getting dirty with them. And, uh, I mean, there's so many guys, man. You know what we did. But uh, that's it. I just want to thank the Hurricanes, thank my fellow inductees, and uh, the journey continues. I'm still chasing my dream. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much.